What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on video for you. So in today's video, we're going to check out the features contained inside the newest version of Botanique, version 6.4. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download Botanique at the link in the notes down below. Notice that right now through October 26th, you can get 30% off using the code sprinkle 30 BM. So um, if you go to the Blender market and use that code, you can get some savings as well. But this new version, they're really focusing on the scattering system. There's a lot of things that were changed in here, but um, just from an improvement standpoint, that's kind of the big push is the improvement of that system. Um, you can use like multiple different particle systems, um, add objects, lots of different things, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So there's a number of different plants that they've added. Uh, if you go to this video on their page, you can see the actual assets they've added. Notice the quality of the assets contained inside of this. So they do render out really nice, but you've got a number of different shrubs. You've got roses. Um, you've got some branches and twigs that can be kind of spread on the ground. Um, there's a new mushroom pack as well that's contained inside of here. So a bunch of different model files. So if you remember, we'll jump over into Blender real quick. There's a pretty substantial library of different plants contained inside of this add-on from trees. So we've got like the hibiscus plants and all these different plants that are in here. Notice that they're very detailed. So if we zoom in on them right here, and I'm not in rendered mode, I'm just in a material preview mode, but notice how these are highly detailed plants and they do render out really nice. So just another cool thing to consider about this add-on. And so a couple of the example scenes that they've provided showing these all rendered out. This one has like the, this has the pine needles and the pine cones as well as the mushrooms. Then they've also got a garden scene that they've created that kind of shows the power of what you can do with this add-on. So really excited about those new assets. This one has a really great library of assets. All right, so they've also added the ability within the animations to create a looping animation. So what that's going to do is that's going to set your uh, animation to something that's going to loop at 120 frames. So I think that's something that they've had requested a lot. Notice how in addition, we'll go ahead and click play on this, but if we click on our tree, there's also the option now to make adjustments um, to individual parts of the trees. So for example, if I had a branch group in here that I wanted to move around more, I could jump that up to like five. Notice how now that branch group is going to move around more. So what this does is it gives you more control over the actual movement of the tree itself and the different parts and pieces. So we could do this again. We could set this to maybe five as well. Notice how you're just getting more movement inside of that tree. So you can make it look like you're getting more wind or anything like that, which again, getting more control over those animations is a really cool feature. All right, so they've added new um, particle presets for scattering on surfaces. So let's say, for example, we were to select this plane um, and then click on the plus button right here. Notice how they've got options in here for grass. They've got a bunch of those, but they've added a bunch of different options in here. So things like the rock preset, for example, you could bring this in and that would scatter those all automatically on this surface. So what that does is that allows you to add all this in without you having to do a whole bunch of stuff by hand manually, which uh, is perfect for what we're trying to do here. And I'm just gonna let the shader compile for a second. So this rocks preset, for example, looks really realistic and it brings in all of those rocks without us having to actually like place all of those ourselves. So there's a number of different options in here. I'm just going to jump back into uh, simpler mode real quick, but if you wanted to get rid of this, you could just select these and drop them back out and then you could just pick another preset. So another one they added was this desert scene over here but there's, there's a number of different options in here for different presets, which I'm really a big fan of presets that do the scattering for you. Again, just because it, it does a better job of creating something realistic. And so we'll just jump over into EV real fast to take a look at this. I mean, just the level of detail on this plants is very high. I mean, I think, I, I think this add-on is really known for its level of detail. So you can see how you can add in those details and those presets really quickly. They've also given you the ability to create your own particle systems. So let's say for example, that we were to let's create a new plane over here you can also create custom particle systems just by um, first off selecting your plane then we're just going to add a particle system and instead of picking the presets we're going to pick new we'll go ahead and call this one shrooms because we're going to add these three mushrooms to it and then all you have to do is just select these three objects 
do a shift click and select your plane and then scroll down. And when you scroll down, if you click on the button right here, it's going to append your selection to this. Um, to this particle system. And so what that allowed us to do is that allowed us to place these on the face. Notice that I could only get this to work um, with these being editable, so make sure that you make that change. But then you can come in here, and right now they're all laying down, so you can just adjust the rotation to like the object X or the object Y or the object C. Uh, whichever one really makes the most sense, I think in this case it's probably gonna be the object Y. And then you can adjust things like the phase in here, so that's gonna set like how much they're rotating and other things like that. So you can make you can make those adjustments in here really easily using these tools. So notice how you do have options for adjusting like the number of particles that are created and other things like that. So you can definitely create your own kind of random systems in here and you can kind of play around with those in order to get the result that you want. So, and then they also have the ability to paint those out. So for example, you could adjust the density using the paint function right here. So notice how I can paint this in here and it's gonna place those objects where the density is set to be higher right here. So then you can just go back and you can see how that scattered these in here using the density brush right there. So there's a full release log at the bottom of the page down here where you can see everything that they've added. But what always impresses me about this uh, add-on is just the depth of the depth of things they have available for you to add inside of your models. So all, all the different models that they have in here, the way that they're organized so that you can get to them, it's a very impressive set of models in general that look really good when you render them out. So I will link to this add-on in the notes down below. Remember that you can use this code on the Blender Market page in order to get 30% off through October 26th. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you're using this add-on, just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.